Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue our process as we bring the rest of this floor. We've got this floor up to 400 currently, and that's where we like to put our densifier on. That's what we've done in our finished areas as well, is stop at 400, apply the densification to the floor, and then continue our process with the 800s and then 15. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start spraying out the LS densifier. We haven't diluted it. This is straight out of the box. Go ahead and put your pad on the floor, tuck here, and let's pre-wet or preload that pad with some of the densifier. And then we can go ahead and start applying the densifier, find our path, and then we're gonna use the microfiber pad to just evenly distribute the densifier across that surface. We like to have the guys sort of work together, never have so much of this out there that we've got it soaking into areas while it's not getting into other areas. We wanna get this pretty much evenly distributed across the floor that we're gonna be treating. We like to see an even absorption rate. If we don't see that, then we're gonna come back and do a second application of the LS so that we can find the areas where it's reached enough, or reached its saturation point, redistribute it to the areas where it's still needed. It's important that we see a nice even film of the LS across the floor. We don't wanna see puddles. We don't wanna see a lot of streakiness. That can present problems as we go to our next step and cut it with the diamonds. So the guys are doing a nice job here in terms of getting it distributed across the floor. Because of the denseness of the floor that we're dealing with here with the hard trowel finish and the cream polishing, we're finding just this one application is enough to thoroughly densify the floor, harden it properly, and get the uh, properties that we're looking for. If your concrete's very porous, um, weaker concrete, two or three applications may be required of the LS. It's always good to work with your samples and determine yourself which works how many applications and what the rate is going to do for your floor. Coverage rates that we're finding on most jobs is we're going to get about a thousand square feet to a gallon. Um, I typically like to, in most cases, we'll do two coats where we're applying about two thirds of that material on the first coat and the balance of that third of a gallon on a second coat. Other areas where we were pre-treating yesterday we're probably lucky to get three or four hundred square feet to the gallon is my guess. So again, it's really the testing you do. Doing your samples is always important in terms of what it is you're trying to create and also learning what your concrete's going to require for a proper treatment. If we over apply the LS at this point, it's going to crystallize and harden. And as we move to our next step of diamonds, we'll find that that's going to make it difficult. We're going to get some surface scratches because so much of that densifier has remained on the surface. So the way we're seeing this absorb in, nice and even, is really what we're looking for.